dragging an effect to a clip with an existing effect causes the first effect to be replaced. Thankfully, a simple technique called auto nesting allows us to add multiple effects to a clip. All you have to do is hold the Alt key on Windows or the Option key on the Mac while dragging an effect from the effect palette to a clip with an existing effect. Now, with some effects like a mask preset, that's it. For this example, we're going to add a resize effect to hide the microphone that sneaks into the shot. This can be done by Alt or Option dragging a resize effect on top of the color correction effect. No change occurs this time. We just need to make sure we're in effect mode or the effects workspace so we can make a couple of adjustments right here in the effect editor. Notice we have access to both the color correction and resize effect, so we can make changes to both at the same time. By the way, there's no limit to how many effects you can add to a clip, which is great if you're working with third-party plugins and need to apply multiple effects to create a specific look. Okay, what if you want to add the same effect to multiple clips and be able to make changes to all the clips at once? When you add an effect to individual clips, you can only make changes to one clip at a time. Enter auto nesting. For this, you'll just select the clips in the timeline, and then hold the Alt key on Windows, Option on the Mac, and double-click an effect from the effect palette. If you make changes, they apply to all the clips. Auto nesting, it's super simple. Hold the Alt key on Windows or Option on the Mac and add an effect to a clip with an existing effect. 